Hey everybody, welcome back. We've been talking about the recent update to the NVIDIA DLSS file, and now the DLSS G file, which is the one for frame generation, has been updated as well. That one was a little bit delayed compared to the uh, regular DLSS file, so I want to talk about that real quick and talk about how to update it, because the update process is different from updating the regular DSS, DLSS file. Now, what is DLSS? DLSS is the NVIDIA AI graphics technology um, that uses the physical tensor cores in your RTX card, your, your 40 series card, um, to uh, create additional frames and improve image quality, right? So this is what frame generation is. Um, there are two separate files. There's the DLSS file and the DLSS G file. The DSL, DLSS G file is the one that you need for frame generation for the 40 series cards. Now for the regular DLSS file, we can just update it here in DLSS Swapper. You can see I've got 3.5.1, which is the old one. Just come here, click 3.6, which is the new one. Swap it out and I'm good to go. That does not work for the frame gen file, the DLSS G file. DLSS Swapper is working on, the developers of DLSS Swapper are working on an update to the program that will also allow you to update the DLSS G file within DLSS Swapper, but it's not quite there yet. So we have to do it manually. So how do we do that? Well, you come here to Tech Power Up, and you can see here, this is now the DLSS 3 frame generation DLL file, 3.6.0. And that's the one we want to download. I'll put a link in the description. Simply click the download link select whichever server you want to use, whichever one has a nice low load, and we'll click on that. And then you simply save the file. And once you've saved the file to your computer, wherever you want to save it, um, what I would do is, first of all, create a backup of your old DLSS G file, just in case. Now, where do you find that? You find this file wherever your flight sim, your, your flight simulator Dot exe uh, application is wherever your MSFS flight sim install is located. Now it should be in the C Xbox Games Microsoft Flight Simulator content folder. Uh, prior to about Sim Update Five, somewhere in there, uh, it, it was in another location, and they moved the location of the install after that to allow people to access the stock planes in the game to be able to mod the stock planes a couple of years ago. Some people, for whatever reason, uh, and I'm talking Windows Store here, uh, some people, for whatever reason, did not get the updated uh, location. It, the, what happened was the, the, the simulator essentially reinstalled itself in a different location here and, uh, and is no longer where it used to be. However, some people didn't get this updated location. If you have your Microsoft Flight Sim Simulator install in the Windows Apps folder, do not try to get in there and modify the folder, the, the files. What you need to do in that loca in that situation is change the location, update the location of your Microsoft Flight Simulator install. I will put a link in the description that tells you how to do that. So what you're going to need to do is update your install location and your new install location will be here. See Xbox Games Microsoft Flight Simulator content. And the file that we're looking for is this one here, the nvngx underscore dlssg file. Say that three times fast. Um, so when you get there, you're going to want to copy this file. And I would create a backup folder somewhere or backup location and copy and paste that file into a location where you can where you can keep a backup of it. Then you simply unzip the new DLSS G file, copy it, paste it into your install folder, and you are done. You now have the latest NVIDIA AI machine learning technology for your simulator. And that's gonna give you the the that's gonna give you increased performance, it's gonna give you better graphics. Um, should improve things like ghosting, all these things that we talk about with uh, frame gen. 
if for whatever reason you do this and you don't like the results, it happens sometimes, you can then simply just swap the DLSSG file back to the one that you uh, that you used to have quite easily. And, uh, and that's that. If you guys have any questions about this, please don't hesitate to put them in the comments. If you have any success with this, if you've made this change, uh, you follow this process and make the, make the update to the file, and it gives you a nice, uh, nice performance result, we'd, like, we'd love to hear about it. And again, this is for everybody on NVIDIA 4 Series graphics cards. So hope you guys are doing well, and we will talk soon.